Dean Blundell Show. Going dick head free. In T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. D nine. Six. D nine. Six. D nine. The Dean Blundell Show. Dean Blundell and Todd. Those are the only guys that when I listen to them, I'm just howling on the way to work or school. <laughs> I've never laughed so hard in my life. <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show. 102.1. The Edge. This is your Edge Files with Dean Blundell on the Edge. Hey, if you're going to assault somebody, don't post on Facebook that you think you got away with it. (laughs) (laughs) People really are stupid. Ah, they're dumb. (laughs) Guy's on trial for telling a friend on Facebook he's, quote, getting away with it. 21-year-old facing jail for assaulting his friend's father blew his case after posting a message on Facebook saying, I'm going to get away with this. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. Yeah, dummy. Uh, Michael Ruse and Terry Reeve, both from New Hampshire, charged with beating up Reeve's dad with a baseball bat and baton. Ooh, wow. baton. While awaiting a decision on his trial, Ruse wrote in a reply to a friend's Facebook message asking how it was going. He said, quote, yeah, I think I'm going to get away with it. LOL. Roll on the floor, laugh my ass off. <laughs> An anonymous observer of the exchange printed it out and took it to the court. Uh, Ruse probably changed his plea to guilty in front of the judge. <laughs> now he's going to jail for status. seven years. Yeah, yeah. He, first, yeah, he, brought it, he did it on his cell phone on the Facebook page first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you're going to update it from prison, trust me, your cellmate won't let you get away with it. <laughs> Ow, this hurts. This is next <laughs> update. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was dead for what just happened <laughs> to me. <laughs> Rolling on the floor. Uh, in IP right in pain. extreme yeah, pain. Yeah. <laughs> Rolling on the floor with a fourth degree tear. I, I was wondering if you could put that into an acronym. Yeah, you can. It's called. <laughs> Ow, son of a bitch. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> <laughs> Fisherman in Florida is being commanded after giving a fellow angler a hand. Oh, it's a good little story. Uh, fish pulled. Uh, <laughs> feisty fish. And, uh, he, 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 guy, his name's Jack Wiseman. He, he's in a fishing derby, right? And he's reeling this sucker in, reeling it in, reeling it in. Couldn't reel it in, which he ended up pulling his rod so hard, he pulled his prosthetic ham o- and <laughs> arm off, and he swam away. No way. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Took off. That's it. <laughs> it gets awesome, though. Okay. Another competitor snagged the same fish and caught it with the prosthetic in his mouth. No way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> fish is like, this is the biggest worm ever. <laughs> Do you remember the story where the two guys were at the fishing derby like three, four years ago? I think we got in trouble for it. And uh, two guys uh, fell in. Yeah. And then uh, they died. And then uh, two anglers caught them. Yeah. And like, they, they should have won. won the- yeah. <laughs> Weighs the most. 240 pounds. <laughs> what kind of fish is It's Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? Uh, 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 those are your edge files, whatever the hell day it is, in uh, June the year 2012. The Edge Files! On 102.1! The Edge Files! The Dean Blundell Show. I have some bad things to say about those people. Freaking, I heard it! Flying through my freaking damn wall. The Dean Blundell Show. Boom, man. 102.1. Forget. I knew it. The Edge. Time for open phones unless you email. Yeah. So I got this person on the phone. She apparently either knows this Luca Magnota guy, and she says he's paranoid schizophrenic. He's like a psych patient. It was. Really? But she won't, yeah, she won't tell me what her name is. You know what makes me, like, if that is the case? Yeah. Hey, Luke. Like, you just talking to this lady off Yeah, her? I'm talking to her off the air right now. So you don't want to go on the air? It sucks Use a fake because name. then it will have a defense. Use a fake name. Mm. You know, Derek? Well, yes. I can't put you on there. Like that dude who ate the dude's head in, on the Greyhound Sorry. in Winnipeg? <laughs> He's got weekend passes now. Well, dude, of course he does. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's scary, though, if he actually you does have a history. You can't take away uh, uh, cannibals' rights, dude. You can't. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Uh, if, if, you, if you eat somebody, you should be allowed to get reformed. You've always been a proponent yeah. of cannibalism. Big I know. time, yeah. yeah. Hey, dude, meat's meat. <laughs> 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 That's just how you prepare it. Meets meat, yeah. 
The other white meat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Humans. Oh. The other, other white meat. <laughs> when you're other, 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 pens. other, other <laughs> white meat. Hey. Hey, Edge. How's it going, guys? Good, what's up? Uh, I think you should just, just commenting on that Luca Magnata, whatever, loser. You should, I think, call him by his actual name. Eric Newman? He, yeah, he wants to be known by this and glorified as his Luca Magnata, but... To call him by his real stupid name. I like you. I like yeah. that idea. Yeah, we'll start calling him Eric Newman. But Hello, everyone should be doing Newman. Newman. You guys do wicked, though. Keep up the good work. Let's Thanks, homie. Be good. Hello, Newman. Yeah, so he's apparently connected to the uh, the L.A. decapitation of a gay flight attendant. Now, the L.A. police are talking and to the Montreal police. They're figuring One it in out. Arizona, too, apparently. There's oh, another really? case in Arizona in Tucson, and he, apparently he spent time in Tucson. Oh, you're kidding. That, this, I, I see. I, I, he was so effective. If you've seen that video, which you shouldn't see, but if you have seen parts of it, he was so effective at doing what he did. It, it made me think, as, as I was watching part of it, I, I thought, he's done this he's before. Done this before. is new yeah, for him. He, yeah, yeah. He, he, he knew what he's doing or who trained him on what, on what to do. Mm. Good one. Yeah. Hi, The Edge. Hey, Dean. Hey, dude. What happened with that politician in Greece, sir? Oh, the right-wing politician guy that threw the water at people and started slapping yeah. people on TV? I that was awesome. awesome. Did you see wow. the video? I don't say awesome, but Why? I mean, because he nailed a chick three times. Well, I didn't He's know he slapped arrested. a woman. Yeah. I thought he slapped a man. No, he slapped a woman three yeah, times. Yeah, I take it back. He's yeah. a bitch. Yeah, He's, yeah, he's a hey. bitch. And he's getting, he got arrested for it. Did he really? Yeah. Just snap, man. She threw water on him, and they just went boom, boom, boom. Like oh, just, are you, he slapped yeah. a woman? Oh, dude, yeah, he should be horrible. put down. He should be put out right now. Yeah. It's bad they don't have enough money for bullets. Hello? At <laughs> the edge. Oh my god, is this Dean? Yeah, dude. Yo, I saw you yesterday. You saw me? Thought in the Dumbler? Yeah. Oh, you were, down, you. you were down for the Batman thing. Yeah, I was staring daggers at you, man. How did you not notice? I don't know. Which one were you? Jesus, I was wearing that Ghost Rider t-shirt. Oh, oh yeah. Kid. Sorry, dude. Yeah, how you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Good, man. What's up? Yeah, that <laughs> was awesome. Oh my <laughs> god. Hey, dude, are you stoned right now? No, but it was yesterday. <laughs> so, so influential, man. Seeing you guys, man, that was awesome. Just the, the, the Batmobile. Yeah, and you guys too. Thanks, yeah, it was, it was, it was, were you the guy uh, taking video or pictures? I took some, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, I remember you. <laughs> yeah, you're a good guy. Did you get some yeah. waffles? Yeah. All right. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <At> the Edge. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good, man. Turn your radio off. What's up? Thanks. What's up? Uh, I just want to talk to the boys there about uh, what they thought about uh, Keith Trescott. You know who that is? I, I didn't hear that. Who? Keith Trescott. He's the guy from uh, Montreal that's going to be out, out of the psych ward in about six months from now after killing his little kids there back in 1987. Uh, or 97. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I don't feel like talking about that. No. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, The Edge. Hey, how are you? Good. I got a, a comment regarding the... Um, the McLuca chap. Eric Newman? Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. My, my comment is, the guy that um, that he murdered, he yeah. must have been a bit of a freak himself to be dating somebody that posts um, himself killing kittens and stuff. You, you know, know, that's something nobody's <clears throat> focusing on, but yeah. You know, if, if indeed this uh, guy who he ate... I don't, right. know if, I don't know if he ate anybody else. No, no, not Newman. The um, the, the gay, the gay porn guy. Yeah, I'm talking. You're, ta- yeah, the yeah. Luca Magnota. His name's yeah. Eric Newman. His real name. Oh, yeah. Okay, the guy that he was dating. I mean, he might not have known. He was new to the country, and he might not have known. Yeah, Did he have a job, or was he? A yeah, stranger? he worked at a convenience store. You're kidding? No. I don't know, man. I mean, you know, the, the, he was online all the time doing stuff like that. The guy, you know. Uh, I, 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 I listen. Uh, uh, there's something there. I, uh, I kind of agree with what he's saying. I, I do. I thought about it. I thought, you know, what kind of sick perv uh, knows knowingly dates another knew. sick perv? But if he right. didn't know, then. But you, you know, know in, in the end of the day, dude, no one deserves that. Yeah. You know, uh, they don't. He doesn't deserve it. It's absolutely 100. percent No one deserves that. But I mean, everyone's focused on this like Luca chap. No, no dude, I think you're wrong. I apologize. I agree with him. I, I, I honestly think the guy didn't know. Well, clearly not. We, I'm sure we've <laughs> all found out things about like, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> what? And it's. What happened? <laughs> because, listen, how many of us knew? Knew what? About this guy in the cat killing. 
Oh, I knew him. I no. knew of him. And then when they arrested him, I knew exactly who it was because I said to you, wasn't that the guy that killed the cats? We knew, yeah, but that was like two, three years ago, and it was connected. And it was all over the papers. I mean, if I just saw that guy on the street and met him at a gay club, Dean, if I met that guy yeah. at a gay club, I would be like... All right, I would just maybe you know I might not know that he killed cats in the day. Like you know, I'm just saying when I if I were to go on a date with him after a gay club or a gay rave or something or picked him up as an escort and in the bear back, ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I know, Todd. If you had picked Luke up, things yeah. might have been different. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, people don't think you might have gotten the upper hand. A lot of people didn't know. Oh yeah, sure, mm-hmm. sure. Hey guys, hey dude, sure, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. What's up? Uh, I want to know if have you guys heard anything about uh, is the that guy passed away who got his face eaten? Uh, Ronald Papa? No, I don't think he's dead yet. No, hey, what's wild is you know what they should do for him? Uh, restructure his face with the guy who uh, who ate his face. That's a little weird, but that's a pretty interesting concept. Wow. Oh, he'd wake up and be like, "I just ate myself." <laughs> <laughs> he looks in Imagine, the mirror. Yeah, every time he looks in the mirror, he just freaks out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a bad. There idea. it is again. <laughs> <laughs> And this other one out of Louisiana, we talked about it briefly yesterday. Carl Jacano and his buddy Todd Kreuter hadn't been getting along. They were both doing some bath salts. That's when he attacked them and started eating the other guy's face. You should really like the person you're doing bath salts with. Yeah. If you're going to do bath salts, make sure you don't have a beef with the person. (laughs) Because it'll come out at some point. Man, not for the eating each other, people, please. Hi, the edge. Hey there. Uh, just the uh, Magnetta and that guy dating them. You never know. Some people say they're a little twisted. You just don't know exactly how twisted they are. Mm. My, my buddy dated this girl, and she said she was a little dirty, and he was kind of into it until she uh, on his chest. <laughs> it's a little dirty, yeah. Yeah. That is dirty. That's she, dirty. Uh, folks, I had to take that out. Uh, she said she was a little kinky. Uh, hang on. She said she was kinky, and then uh, she really proved how kinky she was when she uh, she gave him a steamer. Yeah. Yeah. She gave him, the, he, she gave him, uh, she gave him a steamer, and he gave her the Homer Simpson scream and then jumped off the bed. Oh, my God. It's true, dude. So you don't know how you're dead. I know people that have married people, and then for like several to th- you know thirteen years, uh, you you, uh, you you know you're you're aware of the craziness. You just try and battle the craziness, and then it just gets to be too much. And thankfully, some people get out before their faces get eaten. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Just throwing it out. Just a regular. Hey, good morning, boys. Hey, dude. I was um, just calling. You guys remember last week when you guys were doing the surprise uh, reaction of the uh, face there on the guy who got eaten? Yeah. Well, if you've seen, have you seen the the picture of the guy yeah. who's yeah? And and not to keep talking about people's eating faces, but you you will never see a more surprised look He's in your like, life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, that morning I was dropping my uh, little guy off at school, and my uh, two and a half year old daughter was in the car listening. She spent the last week now going around going, oh, ooh. There's, there's two problems there. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I, yeah, I think it's one problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you should let two and a half year olds <laughs> listen to this show. She <laughs> 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 doesn't even know why she's doing it. The look on his face is priceless. It really is. Yeah. Oh, you can see. <laughs> Imagine if a paramedic with a sense of humor on the scene just walked up. <laughs> I think you're going to be okay, but man, you should see the look on your face. Just <laughs> shocked. Just shocked. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, crap. A <laughs> <laughs> pure shock, okay? Surprising shock. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh, it does. <laughs> it's like a sex doll. <laughs> oh, 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 Last time I sleep under a causeway. <laughs> Attention, citizens of Florida. Attention, citizens of Louisiana. The Dean Blundell Show. It's going to be category five for greater. 102.1. This came to me yesterday because um, I was talking with someone uh, in regards, and I don't know, and maybe Adjwa can help out here before we get to your weekend review, which is coming up next. Uh, and, and Adjwa. 
when yeah. it, when it comes to the fe- the female moment of the of the and I got to tread lightly because we get in trouble for talking about this stuff. Yes, the female the gentle moon time as Derek calls it. Yeah. Okay. Um, is is it? Do you do do you all have a choice uh, with what you say? Uh, I'm asking. Depends. Like depends. when you're, when you know you when it's when, too? when oh. it's ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like stop. First day of flow, man. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Old faithful. But it, it, this is in, long since I've held the belief that uh, hey, you know, even though that the, there's a gentle thing going on here, uh, yes. you, you still can control what's coming out of your mouth. But I'm, I'm finding out no, you can't. No. Hey, do, do you get on? You don't seem to be unreasonable at times. No, no, I'm not. No, How, I'm usually they, okay. Like if when. When uh when stuff's happening during that special time, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm like I can get, I just get truth serum comes out. So stuff that I wouldn't really say, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm saying. Oh, awesome. So it's like you're drunk, but you're not drunk. First day is like that. Oh, is it really? You have so no patience. Of, is there a lot of resentment? Not resentment. It's just okay. more you just you just don't care. You you want to you want to be oh it's like truth serum. It is. It's Red all the stuff serum. you're keeping in. You know, that's like that person yeah, that's who's behind why, you that's in what line. It is, yeah. 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 That's why. It yeah. You need. Let's change the commercials then. <laughs> <laughs> to catch all your truth, truth serum. serum. <laughs> Before it does damage. <laughs> Put a pad on your mouth. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's very freeing. Actually. Yeah, it is. You know what? I got to tell you, and, and I, I've said this before, uh, somehow uh, the, the, female, uh, the female species has gotten the shaft over the years. And, and I will say this is that we, we, we celebrate mm-hmm. you and we're so sorry for what you have to go through sometimes. 100%. So let's, let's do it. Yeah. We love you all. But just don't bottle it up before that time. Yeah, let us know before. Yeah. It just it just happens. It's not mine isn't angry. Mine is like usually funny, but uh, yeah. some people's are angry. Do you get randier? Yeah, I do. I do. Oh yeah. It's, it's honestly it's like you're it's like you're drunk. Where's uh when's this uh when's this happening? When's this happening? Yeah, what let me day? check my uh Calendar. tracker. Yeah, you, you, get, you can get them yeah. for your iPhone now. You yeah, can you get do. The I have it on my for, iPhone right now. You're, you're, really, you're over 30, dude. Up. You should just know when it's coming. Like, okay, come stop on. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is like so regular, it's ridiculous. Yeah, that's why you should know. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> I think it should be, it's in a week. It's like in about a week. We don't need to know. let everybody okay. know the day. Well, we'll uh, you know what I want to do is I want to do a we'll test. I want to see if, yeah. Don't tell me the day. <laughs> but I'm going to listen to your traffic and talk to you a few times uh, that morning and see if I get the day right. The traffic sucks, bitches. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I hate this job and I hate this studio. <laughs> more traffic in minutes, a-holes. <laughs> yeah, it's, if you're it's more truthful, too, then do, do, do you think you'll... <laughs> do, 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 if you're more truthful, do you think like you'll start traffic by saying, Dean, I've always been in love with you? I, I don't know if that's true. Oh, never mind. I'm not too sure about that one. Oh, it doesn't make you crazy. <laughs> Makes you a little bit crazy. <laughs> no, it mm. clearly doesn't if you won't say that. <laughs> that could happen. <laughs> no, I don't. That, that could happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. Well, God bless you. Let's hear it for our ladies. Yeah. 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 We suffer. We yeah, do. Yeah, I know. Well, no, you, don't, you do and you don't. You just got, like, God gave you a couple of things you didn't give us. Like, he gave Boobs. you guys, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but not everybody has, like, nice ones, right? Yeah, you know that. <laughs> Stop it. Um, no, but God gave you the ability to give birth. Yeah, which yeah, is a wonderful painful, thing if you haven't painful, seen it. Though. But that's that's got to suck. That's painful. Um, and then and then God also gave you the uh, that thing. Yeah, you know, we've just been talking about. That's torture. Yeah, and I've been suffering since I was nine. It's ridiculous. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Can you believe that? Nine. This is why you have to drink organic milk. Can you believe it? Weird. Nine freaking years old. Yeah, organic wanna... milk. <laughs> you still don't even, but she still doesn't even know when it's coming. That's no, yeah, yeah. 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 If you don't oh, know in the right. last 30 years when it's I on its way. I do know when it's coming. Thank God for the iPhone app. <laughs> <laughs> in the old days, we used giant egg timers. Yeah. <laughs> and my mom used an abacus. <laughs> you know the week. You just sometimes just don't know the exact day. You know when it's, you feel when it's coming. I, I yeah. I've heard. It's coming around again. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I do. I do want to like. Don't tell me next week, and I'm going to see if you. I can guess. Okay. Because I think it's good. It's like my gaydar. I think I can pretty much pick that out now. Can you? Yeah. <clears throat> On people I know, and I've known you for several years That's now. That's true. So, yeah. You floatar. <laughs> you floatar. Dean Blundell Show. One hundred two point one. The Edge. And now. The Dean Blundell Show presents The Week in Review. Yeah. It's true. Week in Review. You know, the other day I was saving these uh, uh, baby kittens. 
Aw. Pretty good that way. Yeah. Some guy's like, I'm going to get rid of these kittens. I'm like, don't. They're baby kittens or whatever. Aww. He's like, I'm getting rid of them. I'm like, don't. Because some people like these things I've heard. <laughs> so anyway, I saved them. I, t- I tackled them and reached in the bag. Sure enough, no kittens. He was fooling me. There weren't even kittens. No. Was there anything in the bag? Just kids. <laughs> and I realized you said kitties. Oh. Yeah. You saved them, though. Well, that wasn't part of the deal. I thought he was killing kittens. But, but yeah, you, I saved him. You're a hero. I am. And you know, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Never, ever, ever put kittens in a plastic bag. I'm so confused right now. Which leads us to your <laughs> eh, eh, week in review. Like Do you shard a lot? No comment. Oh, she does. Oh. I make the best Kool Aid. Trust me. My great Kool Aid's the best. I'm a better Mexican. We do a little sucking. Look at this, you think what? It doesn't scream back door, though, to me. <laughs> Still, it doesn't scream back door. Thank you, though. He didn't give her the big O. Yeah. Big penises got him in trouble. Sphincter wow. muscles, the strength of so an old lady. Frankie Fourfingers. <laughs> or Tommy, no taste buds. Hit by flying pussy. Boyfriend slash husband slash cucumber. Are you gay if you hold it and bring it back to the hospital? The middle of her magic muffin. This guy's by i knew it i can smell it you smelled it i smelled oh, it yeah it's good, it smells man. like perfume and hot dogs steak or cake i have a very deep voice he's got a face you'd never get tired of kicking a lot of people tell me that actually creep who talks like that yeah. <laughs> i told you i smell perfume and hot dogs in a crotch pot yeah. what tease it's like the rim job yeah. of death how did it smell sideways with the leg and the mm. flipping it in the Woo. catch a glimpse of a crotch count sheep darling one <laughs> How'd that pussy smell? <laughs> Don't leave me over here. Over here. What you gonna do about these blue balls? I will impregnate your head. I need a tissue now. If he's lined up for a wristband and he's over 30, <laughs> that's your guy. Yeah, yeah. just arrest, arrest him, him now. Right yeah. Just in case you have a little bat wank. <laughs> <laughs> a robin wank. <laughs> no, no, it was in the cat cave. Is the light green? He's blind as a bat. I gotta go. Where's the light? I've never seen Batman with so much waffle all over his lip. Man, I feel like such a pussy. Hey. Toronto Batman, I did that to your mom. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> you want to talk to Robin? And no. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on. This is the Dean Lundell Show. <laughs> Yesterday we were talking about this book that's uh, giving chicks swimming pant, swimming swimwear underpants. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. And depending on if two guys read it. Fifty shades? shades of brown. <laughs> to be honest, it's Fifty Shades of Brown for the women too. Oh yeah, I know. There's there's a lot of talk of that in there. There's yeah, I a lot skipped of talk ahead. Of the I've, tradesman's I've, entrance. I've been reading the book, and I'm a very slow reader, Dean. I do about a page a night. <laughs> it's, it's got to it's got to interest you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, and and I, last night I decided to skip ahead to some of the great parts, and I know that. Uh, has an Uncle D found, found somehow? Strangely enough, yes, yeah. he does. Can, do we have some music here? Uh, thank you very much, Drughead. Uncle D? Yeah. All right. Some here's... excerpts of Fifty Shades of Grey written by, read by Uncle D. Yeah. Suddenly, he sits up and tugs my gotchas off <laughs> and throws them on the floor, <laughs> pulling off his underoos, his dinky do springs free. Holy cow. He kneels up and pulls a sheepskin safe onto his considerable length. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. I don't remember that part. I don't know how that yeah. makes chicks hot. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Oh, no, I got part. another one. This, maybe oh, this yeah. will get you going. Okay, yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle D. There we go. It's a little longer. Fifty Shades of Grey. <clears throat> and he's. if you haven't noticed, he's replaced some language with some more digestible oh, language. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Go ahead, baby. Yeah. He leans down and kisses me, his finger still moving rhythmically inside my magic muffin. <laughs> His thumb circling and pressing. His other hand scoops my hair off my head. 
and holds my head in place. His tongue mirrors the action of his fingers, like, brum, 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 <laughs> claiming me. Claiming me. That's actually the real words of the book. That's <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> that book just got nerdy. Yeah, uh, my legs begin to stiffen as I push against his hand. His bits and pieces, his hand. So I am brought back from the brink. I have an instant hysterical paroxysm again, <laughs> and again, and again, falling apart beneath him. Then I'm building again. I crescendo anew, calling out his name, calling out his name. (laughs) (laughs) Uncle B. (laughs) Okay, here you go. And now, (laughs) the Dean Blundell Show presents Todd Shapiro impersonating Christopher Walken reading Kim Kardashian's tweets. I'm about to do Jimmy Kimmel and my whole dress rips. Help! It's time to sew me in. I'm praying this works. You've been listening to Todd Shapiro impersonating Christopher Walken reading Kim Kardashian's tweets on 102.1 The Edge. And now, the Dean Blundell Show presents Todd Shapiro impersonating Christopher Walken reading Kim Kardashian's tweets. I miss my trill churls. You've been listening to Todd Shapiro impersonating Christopher Walken reading Kim Kardashian's tweets on 102.1 The Edge. The Court Broadcasting System presents The Dean Blundell Show. It's going to be a super duper program for you. 102.1 The Edge. Joining us in studio, uh, Sarah, who has uh, sent us many pictures of herself uh, tied up and, and uh, doing some other BDSM Looking stuff. Looking good, baby. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. Hi, thank you very much for having me here. N- nice to see it. Now, now we talked yesterday uh, about this Fifty Shades of Grey book, and uh, you wanted to come in and talk about it. because uh, uh, Now, from what I understand and what Todd said, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Here, I'll what, what Todd has said is, um, le- you're doing fine. She made a note already. Let me know if I'm talking too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I talk fast when I get nervous, and I've been so nervous when I phoned. Yeah. I really wasn't expecting to be coming in. To oh, okay. No, don't be nervous. Now, <laughs> listen, would you feel less nervous if you just stripped right down? No. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> we'd feel less nervous. How about if I tied <laughs> yeah. you up? No, because oh. you don't know how to tie people You're, up. Well, oh. I do, but just not for sexual purposes. Well, I brought some rope. Did you really? Can you I tie did. me up? I can show some basic stuff. Oh, that'd, that'd be, be cool. Fun, yeah, yeah, we'll get you tied up. <laughs> you do it. What if you get into it and get all weird? <laughs> what if I do? I'd for sure get into that. Right. I'm oh, total come on, masochist. Todd, I'll take you out to the places. <laughs> yeah, I'd come. <laughs> now, now, Sarah, tell me, um, first of all, you, what, what is it? Uh, you, you go to BDSM parties? Is it what you say? BDSM clubs, they have these? And this is uh, bondage... Uh, something in sadomasochism, right? A bondage, domination, sadomasochism. Which includes what? The scope. Um, well, the bondage, I'm more of a kinkster as opposed to the dominant submission. That's more of a type of relationship where somebody is in a dominant role. Yeah. And that's what the book's really about. That's what yeah. the book is yeah. actually about because the main male character is more into a dominant submission relationship. By the way, the, in the book, they sign a, a, a non disclosure agreement to make sure that uh, he can do all this stuff with her. But that's also another important point. There was a case last year in Ontario where somebody defended an assault that they were playing and she called out her safe word, which was cabbage or rutabagger. You call, <laughs> you, you call something that's absolutely ridiculous that you would never yell out in sex or you do the basic you know red yellow or green you know what my safe word is it's spumoni 
<gasps> sure, anything much like, works. Much like in the movie uh, Tropic Thunder, or not, what? What is it uh, called? The the Will Ferrell uh, semi pro. Yeah, that was a safe word for the bear that was attacking him. Was yeah. Spumoni. You know what would be a bad safe word or What's safe that? words for you? Keep was, going. No, do it. Do, do it. it. Do it. Because that's bad. Do it. Do it. Do it. Well, that's my safe word. I swear. Yeah, yeah. Do it. So you okay. have to have a safe word to start with all this BDSM stuff. And when stuff starts to hurt or you're not enjoying yourself anymore, you you, you scream Spumoni or cabbage or whatever. Well, something like that. But that also brings in the point of which, the by contract. the way, totally. Totally, totally drills the mood if someone screams cabbage in the middle of it. Cabbage, unless cabbage. you're uh, unless you're into that sort yeah. of thing. Oh, you want some cabbage, eh? Cucumber. All right, okay. on the way. <laughs> well, the joke is always that the safe word is harder. Harder. No. Oh. <laughs> harder with an exacto knife. Oh. No, I'm just joking. So let's get back to uh, what BDSM uh, really is. And, and so there was a there you you're tying up. This is something you're into suspension and and uh, tying people up. Yes. And do you like being tied up? I like being tied up. Um, is it I, erotic? Uh, it's fun. I like not being um, able to move. I'm certain things like I'm not into beating the crap out of me, but you know, <laughs> good. It, <laughs> but you like the fact that you're like your hands be tied behind your back and you're just suspended in air and your legs are doing some weird position and, and people so, kind of touch you nicely yeah. in different places. Is that it? Things like that. And yeah. I mean, you know, there is light hitting. If you do hit on the same spot, over show us over, on Todd. <laughs> Show us on Todd how light the hitting is. Todd, turn around. Give I don't want to part. Give it Fine. <laughs> yeah, <Okay>. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like how hard? Like yeah. you, you, got, you got to build it up a little yeah. bit. Okay, my, uh, careful the nards. So well, just low. pretend. Just pretend yeah. you guys Backhand have had some killer foreplay. Yeah. Okay, Backhand, Sarah. Seriously, Backhand. careful. Okay, the, okay. Yeah. so you get yeah. hands on oh, the. Oh, oh yeah. Just careful the nards. Okay. I'm actually scared right now. No, don't be afraid. Okay. No, I want to hear her do some talk. Just get spanked. Just get. There's nothing wrong. Yeah. Oh, oh, she's rubbing oh, your back. How oh, does that feel? Oh, oh, yeah, actually. Oh! How are you, big baby? Oh! 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 How's that one? Both cheeks. But see, you yeah. know, now what you've done there is, Sarah, come on over. That was nice. What you did there is you started with like a little nice back rub, right? Yeah. Absolutely. But it's then you hit him in the Felt tush. like a bad boy. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> It's the surprise of it. And yeah. I mean, when you do build it up on the same spot, you know, it, oh it's you, the uh, marks the I next know. day and the reminder and the rush that you mm. get after it, which even though the writing is absolutely terrible in Fifty Shades of Grey, yeah. the, the author makes a point yeah. of mentioning it, how she feels the next day and the endorphins. It's a natural high mm-hmm. that you get. You don't need to do other okay. stuff. I gotta, I'm getting a natural high. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the, uh, let me ask you then, the, the, you said it's the surprise of it, you know, when you're rubbing someone's back and all of a sudden, bang, they get you. W- w- have you ever surprised someone with like a shiv or like a shank <laughs> or like a knife? Uh, my my <laughs> preference is a flogger. Oh, is it really? Yeah, so what is this flogger? Because they talk about that in the book and they describe it. Oh, a bit I should have brought one. I didn't it's, think yeah. of it. Um, a flogger. It's a little stick with, uh, a, little, with a... Hey. It's a less scary a cat of nine tails. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... Well, I, I missed that. like that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's a cat of nine tails. Basically. That's small version. And they put, you put like a glass on the end of it or... <laughs> no, the ones I've used are uh, rubber. The one that's mentioned in Wait, the book I still has don't know what it beads. Is. It's um, it's like a handle with a whole bunch of falls. It's usually leather. The one in the book oh, describes yeah. having beads. Looks like a horse tail, yeah, dude. Like, uh, yeah. like a pom pom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Only <laughs> you, you hit you hit you hit people in the crotch with it. Yeah. Right. Is that what you do? Uh, I think the crotch is a bit of a red zone, if you ask me. Good but. for you. Yeah, especially <laughs> like once every 26 days. Oh. <laughs> so let's get to what you're doing with the book then. Does, does it, has it enabled people? Do you think it's brought BDSM into the... Uh, because a lot of women that I've talked to on the phone and, and other people I've talked to that read the book, they love the fact that it's opened up their, their world a little bit, sexual world. I think that the author did a very good job, despite the horrible writing, of um, well. being able to... It's, it's awful, right? It was, it, it was it was written for women. When you, yeah, when you got Gilbert Gottfried and, Doc, and uh, Uncle D reading it too, it certainly brings it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Are you saying that didn't turn you on when Uncle D wrote read it? No? I, I I'm very sorry, Uncle D, but no. Well, you're the one with the problem. <laughs> the whores love it. But what I do like about the book. In terms of um, introducing it to people who haven't been in BDSM, mm-hmm. it brings up the point of a contract, which really is covering your behind on what do you mm. accept That's to do. What, do you sign those when you get together? <laughs> um, Have you signed one? I've never signed one personally because I haven't done a DS relationship. I'm more of a kinkster. I like to 
make my sex a little more interesting. And how I do you play. do that? Uh, I like my rope bondage. I like the flogging and stuff. I am not involved in a relationship with somebody where they are my dominant or yeah, that, I'm it's a dominant. creepy. Like the yeah. book's creepy. Do that you have way Do you like, have a boyfriend? No, and I'm a terrible submissive. So oh, are you really? <laughs> I'm too bratty. Um, I I don't listen to that stuff. It's it's not me. What I about guess. the the concept uh, in the book about a playroom? Have you ever been in somebody's playroom before? Um, I haven't been in a personal playroom. There is a few uh, places around in Toronto that do have dungeons. Really? In them. Yep. I just have a spare bedroom where all the sex goes on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can certainly make yeah. it into a playroom. Yeah, well, we used to call it the masturbation room. <laughs> but anyway. <yeah. laughs> It's true. It's where all the masturbating goes on. Yeah, yeah. Where are the video cameras? Yeah. Uh, the video cameras are, are, are actually in all the other parts of the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's true they are. They're not in the bedrooms. No, so well, then what's everywhere. the point in that? Well, okay, yeah, I yeah, understand the yeah. point in that. But oh, I lost a tape on. once. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Yeah. So do you, you, you now how do you how do you get a hold of people for this kind of stuff? Do you, do you are you on Kijiji? What do you do? Uh, there is a wonderful uh, website called FetLife. It's just like Facebook, but it's for kinky people, and you're able to put up the f- pictures that fe- uh, Facebook definitely will not oh, let you get away like with. Oh, it's like Craigslist. Uh, it's more like a social media. No, like people have oh, profiles yes. and okay. stuff. Sorry, I was thinking Kijiji. Sorry, yeah, that's okay. So, do, it, do you worry about uh, the stuff being disclosed? If you're a professional, do, is that sort of the the problem where some people do have have troubles with this? That they love it, but they can never really talk about it. Well, it's it, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it is kind of funny because a lot of people who really are into it yeah. are more of your corporate people. It's crazy. <laughs> like uh, yeah, we've heard stories where like that you know the, where where a lot of executives, for instance, will be the yeah. actual one who's in the submissive part yes. of the relationship. Oh, dude, do you remember? Do you remember uh, when Voodoo uh, called us a while ago? He's yeah. a town porn star who did a like a GB with like a district attorney and some CEO of a company, and uh, and these people have so much stress. They they like the stress release as opposed to getting, I guess, on an elliptical machine for half an hour. They like to, get <laughs> beat up. to each his own. Um, but Although yeah. that would be a submissive one, like get on the elliptical. I mean, no, <laughs> just spank me. You know what that <laughs> is. <laughs> Yes, yes. It's crazy. <laughs> Maybe that's what personal trainers actually are. Yeah. It's just another version of Probably. it. Probably. They're definitely say it us. I would I'd give it that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so now where do these parties happen? Um, there's one place that's down um, in Liberty Village. There's another place that's like a whole the- club de- yep. dedicated to it. It's small, but yes, it's, are, aren't a, it's you a dungeon. Wor- aren't you more worried going in there than you are any other club? Oh, absolutely not. People are a lot more respectful in the BDSM community. I feel. I would not be groped at one of these clubs as opposed to going to some place in Richmond Street. <laughs> I haven't gone to a normal club in like yeah. seven years. I suppose, I suppose uh, you've you got a better chance of being tied up the bad way on Richmond Street. BDSM, <laughs> douchebag free. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the goal, right? Like you, you're, you're, you know what you're there for. Uh, everybody's like-minded. It's safe play for the most part. And, well, the nice part, too, is that the people don't want to be judged for their kink, so they're very good at not judging you for yours, and they're very respectful if you are there with somebody or, you know, I, I'm not going to have somebody groping me unless they're a real creeper, and it gets mentioned really quick, and they get ostracized pretty quick if they're not behaving well, appropriately. Like, uh, yeah. give, us some, give us some examples. <laughs> give us some examples of not behaving like that you've seen where people have just been the boot. There was a case, actually, in... Uh, um, Detroit was it in Michigan where somebody snuck in with a hidden camera from a news station because oh, there was no. some sort of merger, murder charge going down there a husband wife yeah. where the wife was a submissive and the husband was a dominant mm-hmm. and they used to go to these parties and it really had nothing to do with the trial but they had to start glamorizing the whole BDSM of aspect yeah, of yeah. it so somebody managed to get snuck into a club they had a hidden camera it got put on the news portraying it all into a horrible light like there's usually an unspoken rule type thing that you're not outing somebody else Mm -hmm. in the scene yeah you respect it's a respect respect issue for sure it's a club um it got quiet it did it got quiet really fast what are you thinking dino about the respectful part no oh what (laughs) you turned on by all this right 
<laughs> no, I, I, I was just, I was just thinking that you know, if if indeed something does go wrong at one of these clubs, like have you have you seen someone they get tied up, they're doing the safe word, and you can't untie them? I've never seen that happen. Like Jesus, myself. this is a figure eight. I can't do this one. <laughs> In terms of playrooms, they also have dungeon masters. Usually as well, who kind of uh, watch around making sure that everything's going oh, okay. Oh, does he drive into a golf cart with a little yeah. flag on the back of it? <laughs> yeah, he does. And he's, and he's wearing like the, 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 the mask with the, ch- the the zipper in the front. He's like, hey guys, how's it going? Everything good here? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to be back in a half hour. Okay. Hey, those are great like, for sensory you want deprivation. Some juice? you want some grape juice? What do you need? Can you speed up your play here? Okay. Yeah. 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 We're, back We're back there. We got two other couples waiting to come in here and some fat guy with a hairy chest. Hurry up. Let's go. It's like a mod. <laughs> That's fascinating, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, yeah. It's right. definitely different. I, I definitely that, enjoy it. Now, I guess. Does, does it it's always crazy. does it always lead to the end result, though, or or like when have you have sex every time? Yeah. No, no, no. There's a, a lot of people are just play partners for the sake of playing, but they don't actually have sex. Would you have you had sex in front of other people while you've been uh, doing BDSM? Do you, uh, uh, not at a BDSM club. I did when I did go to a swingers club. Oh. But that's a different scene oh, altogether. Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's a dirtball scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only been twice. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, Sarah, like thank you very, very much. Team the Edge. Eric Newman uh, was arrested for <laughs> eating an Asian kid. Couldn't be laughing, but... <laughs> all right, it's his name. It's his name, I know. It's a Luca guy. He just wants all that fame. Uh-huh. Uh, so yesterday, someone sent us a uh, clip of him on a plastic surgery television show. This this is an audition, audition for a reality for it, show yeah. for plastic surgery. Yeah. Now, um, God, this guy wanted it so bad. Mm, mm, mm. Fame. Mm, mm, mm. This is the audio. Listen how creepy he sounds. I can't even. Oh, it's good. Um, what do you see when you look in the mirror now? Like what? Oh God! When I look in the mirror now, I just all the little flaws just come out, and I'm just like, you know what? I can notice that. I can just if I just I want to. Fix that. I want to fix this. And what other what other things? I mean, other than you, you, like, there other stuff that you're looking to fix, other than your hair and your packs. Okay, this may sound really weird, but I've seen this other guy on a cosmetic surgery show, and he had on his forehead here, he had like uh, two little bumps in his skull, and they protrude out of his forehead, like just two bumps here in my head, because um, my bone sticks out a little bit on my forehead, like just two little bumps. Yeah. And he had his grinded down, but he couldn't do it all the way because if he did, his, his forehead would collapse. So he had, they had to do, stop, but because he, he thought it looked like devil horns. And I noticed when I look in the mirror that I have the same thing too, oh like one goodness. here, one here. So I want I want it taken off my forehead. And I'm looking there, I'm like, damn, it's getting bigger and bigger on my forehead. So I just, I want that done. And I, I like... Is there, do you see an end to the cosmetic surgery? Like, will you ever be perfect in your own eyes? <laughs> you know what? I just, I don't think I, I, I know that there's so much things I'm going to do. And I don't care whether or not I have to work every single day, every hour, I will do it and get all my oh. cosmetic surgeries done. And maybe there might not be an end. Maybe there will be an end. But I just know that I'm just going to keep doing it until I'm personally satisfied. Even if anybody else says to me, oh, uh, you know what, Luca? You look really good. I don't believe them i just think they're just saying that uh um freak show maybe he was into plastic surgery he was an uh, amateur i don't know <clears throat> but this is a guy that is uh clearly trying to be somebody and that's you know it if you look back at all the stuff that we've seen now of him trying out for cover guy and this gay show and that gay show and being a gay porn star and doing this and doing that if you really look back at all of it, it all kind of makes sense now. You know what I mean? Oh, people knew all the cat killing stuff too. People yeah. knew people for years are trying to get in the, get this guy arrested, saying there's going to be something more. He's a freak show. He's a nothing. He's a nothing. And if you know him, you have any contact with him, tell him we know he's a nothing. Yeah, tell him everybody knows he's nothing. I'm surprised we haven't got a call from someone who actually does know him. The same way people have been, uh, you know, approached by Travolta or yeah. whatever, and people called us. Well, I've had, it, I've, yeah. I, I had a call this morning. A girl said he was, uh, he was a psych patient, and I, I don't know that that to be true. But it's amazing how little information they're giving us about this guy now. Which you know, you should probably. It, it's it. If there's someone like that in our society, whether or not he's in jail, you should probably give us the details about what this guy's all about and how dangerous he is in his past. Because they're not giving you any. And I put a picture of him and Carlo Homolka on my blog yesterday. Go check it out. 
Yeah, you and I feel like there's something deeper yeah. than just this guy, you know, with, with this with this one murder and oh, stuff. Oh, he's and, an F job for sure. Yeah, yeah. There, there's something bigger here, I think, you know, and this is just me, you know, guessing, but it just seems that way. Mm-hmm. He's just such a freak. It seems calculated. There seems, there's got to be more. And I find it strange how he was talking about his devastating good looks on the other show, and then on this show, he wants to have his entire face remodeled. I have a feeling you might get it remodeled in prison. Let's hope. For free! <laughs> Let's hope. This is the Dean Blundell Show. The Edge. Time for what happened. Oh. Hi, The Edge. I'm calling for what happened. What's up, sweetness? Um, well, I hooked up with a guy who was a first date. We hooked up. Everything went fantastic. And it was in the middle of a snowstorm the next morning when I woke up to drive home quite a while. Um, so I got in my car and I was driving home and I was so nervous that like the snow was terrible. Um, so I feel the rumble in my stomach and I'm like, oh dear, I have to go to the bathroom and I'm on Highway 11. There's nowhere to stop. Um, I fought with it for as much as I possibly could fight with it. I finally ended up realizing that I had a towel in the back of my car, so that was what I was going to have to use. I looked both ways. No traffic was coming. I got out did my business and hear honking in the background and it was him he he watched you go do 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 <laughs> oh and it wasn't just do do like i'm talking explosive <laughs> diarrhea why was he following you home that's the better question <laughs> yeah he was, going to work. he was actually going to work and driving i didn't realize that that was his way to work because as i said it was a first date type of thing, so I didn't even expect him to be behind me, but it was probably one of the most embarrassing things that has ever happened in my life. Sounds like that date turned out pretty crappy. Yeah! Hi, The Edge. Hi, I'm calling for what happened. Yeah, what's your name? Hi, it's Janine. Hey, Janine, how are you? Hi, good, how are you doing? Good. Hey, what happened? What happened? Hey, what happened? Okay, well, <laughs> I was uh, doing it with my boyfriend. Mm, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Yeah. And um, <laughs> then oh. he wanted to um, kind of finish up on my chest. That's crazy. And um, then when he uh, then he was gonna he was gonna do it. We were we were heavily intoxicated, and when yeah. we were gonna do it. He ended up peeing all over oh, me. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Thank you. <laughs> I Whoa. can't handle the, the urine anymore. I, I, I can't handle the bodily function. So we had two. We had a, a deuce and a whiz. Unless you're a sea urchin. Yeah. You know, Unless you're you. saving someone's life with yeah. your pee. We don't want to hear about it. <laughs> it's crazy. Hi, yeah. the edge. Hello? Hi, who's this? Hi, it's Danny. What's up, baby doll? <laughs> uh, just calling for what happened. Yeah. It was... Hey, uh, what happened? What happened? Hey, what happened? What is it you can't face? (laughs) (laughs) Boom goes the dynamite. Go ahead. All right. (laughs) It was uh, really hot outside, so I was... It's crazy. uh, Sleeping um, without any PJs or anything like that on. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, you are. Dirty, dirty. we know it. Yeah, you're a good girl. Sleeping (laughs) nakies. Nakey (laughs) nakies. So um, I woke up all of a sudden in the night. I didn't know why I woke up or anything like that. And all of a sudden, um, I felt really, really itchy down in my Uh-oh. region. Uh oh. Yes. Um, yes. And I didn't know why, so I tried to go back to bed. And, it's crazy. Um, all of a sudden, I looked down because the itch wasn't going away, and my labia was the size of a softball. Ah! Oh, 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 wow, all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this what I you think, said? What the f- happened? <laughs> Pretty much. I started freaking out. I was like, what is going on? Yeah. Um, and I'm like really small. So like the size of a softball is huge compared yeah. to the size nice. of me. <laughs> nice. Um, and it turns out that it was a freaking spider that bit me. And I have an allergic reaction to spider bites. And I had to go to the doctor and show him my vagina. That spider's the man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, guess yeah. what I just did? Oh, 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 yeah, oh. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, 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 look at me. Look at me. <laughs> well, this is the best place to bite for sure. <laughs> Hi, The Edge. Hey, is it ladies day today? Yep. Hi, The Edge. The Edge? Yeah, it is. What's your name? Yeah. Katie. Hey, Katie. How are you? 
All right, how are you? Good, thanks. Hey, what happened? What happened? <laughs> hey, what happened? What the f- happened? That's crazy. <laughs> So I took a guy um, back to my place with me. Yeah, you and, did. Uh, Where are you from? Toronto. Yeah, okay. And not uh, been with anybody for a long time. Mm. We're making out, and he decides he's going to tell me that there's something special about him. <laughs> I, I told him, he, he said, you know what, I'm just going to show you. And I said, whoa, before you go and show me, I think you should just tell me, ease me into this one. Anyways, he takes off his shirt and he has four nipples. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's wow. there's two. That's crazy. That's, that's, crazy. Like a, that's crazy. That's crazy. That is wow. special. It's like a mother dog. Did you milk him? <laughs> I did not. That did was, you? Did you? Did end. you boot him out, or were you grossed out by it? Totally grossed out. So that was enough for you. Oh, that was it. I like I like chicks that are a little bit fickle too. I seen a girl with two on one on like like three one day. No, you didn't. No, I did. I uh, no, you didn't. Uh, seen a girl. Uh, I've said it as a joke. Oh, oh, yeah. on Total Recall? Okay. No, no, I actually saw, like, I actually, like, in the day, I was saying, in the day, I seen it. Oh, I oh yeah. Like, Sorry, like, I wasn't going to let you get yeah. away. It was no, no, of course, <laughs> dude, of course I'm being a I seen this guy. I couldn't um, believe you just said yeah, that. No, I was, was, was going to fire I put you. on the accent. I put on the accent. You didn't even hear. <laughs> oh, but at, but it, was, it was, like, really mean. It was at, like, a party. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, so mean, dude. Dude, that happened to me one We're all, like, 20. Yeah. And we're all, like, encouraging, you know, when you do stupid things, you're in college. Yeah, shows you yeah. And there's, like, 20 of us there, so a couple girls are doing it. And the other one's like, no, no, no. We're like, why? What could be wrong? It shows your boobies. Like, whatever. So she did it, and everyone's drunk. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. You're so mean. I feel so bad. I, I went, I was, I remember, like, 17, 18, fooling around, and girl had uh, just the one nipple. Yeah, I told you the story. Yeah, of and course. I, I went running out of the room going, Oh, Shannon's only got one nipple. <laughs> to everyone. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the whole place said, uh, boy, she, uh, the grade 12 was not kind to her. Mm. No. I've been through it too, though, once. You had the one nipple? Yeah. No, just like embarrassed. Yeah, because so your small right. penis. Yeah, it's tiny. The edge. Hi, is this what happened? Yeah, what's your name? It's Steph. Hey, what happened? What happened? What the f- happened? Uh, I cut my JJ snowboarding up at Blue Mountain because I fell on my bindings. And the pressure split the lip in two, so I kind of had, like, three lips until uh, I went to the hospital and got it all sewed up. Mm. But I ate my McDonald's before I uh, drove home from Blue Mountain, and then uh, uh, my boyfriend's mom wanted to look at it to see how bad it was, and I was like, there's no way she's looking at it. (laughs) I finished my McDonald's, and then uh, my boyfriend... uh, looked at it for me and we decided that it was a really deep cut so I had to go to the hospital and get it uh, fixed up there. What'd you get at McDonald's? Uh, I got like a Big Mac. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. And then the Hey, your Big Mac, if you turn it sideways, it looked like your yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, got the, it's got the three pieces yeah. of bread. <laughs> the stitches are supposed to be like biodegradable too, but they didn't like disappear so I had to go to the doctors for the first time. And it's like, hi, nice to meet you. Can you uh, pull some stitches out of my vajayjay? So, <laughs> it's it's kind of awkward. <laughs> you win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a winner on the I tell you what. show. Had you, had you not included the part about, so then we went to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is Scott on on 102.1 The Edge. What's up, Toots? What's up? What's up? I got chased by a dragonfly this Ah, it's, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> and you know how many followers I have? How many? Six, 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 six. 6,666. Oh. Yeah. That's beyond evil. Yeah. But uh, Derek, I'm Derek, aiming for seven, we, seven, seven, hang seven. On. We had the Batmobile here yesterday. Derek can't stop talking like Batman. <laughs> That's beyond evil. <laughs> <laughs> That's one extra evil. My parents are dead. <laughs> so uh, Nikki's here, and, and you had a huge <laughs> week. Really? Huge deep. week. Wow. That's cool. Massive Do you know what your week. week was? Do you know why? Do you know how, how special your week has been? Yeah, let's well, go you, over some of them. Well, yeah, you, you tell know? me, guys. No, no. I want to see if she knows. Okay, now we won't consider it bragging because we're very impressed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I think I said there was going to be trouble near a Hollywood sign. It's unbelievable. Hey, there you go. Yeah. yeah. And and they found a head or something. Well, they found it about like six seven yeah. months ago, right, Dean? It was, was that yeah, long ago. Yeah. Case. Yeah. But but I mean, the fact that it's brought up again is is spectacular in my mind. That you guess that it last was week. the flight attendant named Hervey. Yeah, but I feel bad for the flight attendant. <laughs> I feel bad. Yeah, but that happened months ago. That's why he's more impressed flight that it happened in again. general. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know, eh? <laughs> no. 
did a worse Come job on. in and, the world. And it was, All the germs it was and something stuff. to do uh, mag- uh, with Magnata. Was it for well, sure? Alleged. Do you think it is? Well, it could be. He's kind what of. What do you? What, is, is 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 he? You know the the uh, the. The convenience store worker that he—it's true story. He, he worked at a convenience store. Yeah, the guy, no, that, totally the, the, uh, the June Lin guy. Yeah, the the guy. He that wasn't his first, was it? No, he's done a few. Are we oh, going to find out that he's, we he's a real pig? Much, much, more even there. maybe a woman too. Homolka, oh, Homolka. Yeah. Um, some other woman too. Oh, really? Yeah, it could be. You think she instructed him on how to do this stuff? Do you think there's a bigger connection here? There could be. Yeah, there's something. Something's going to come out. That's going to shock everybody, everybody even more. I- even more. What about all those uh, those feet and stuff that have been washing up on the shore in Vancouver for a long time? Is that going to have something to do with him too? That it, may it, ha- have something to do. <clears throat> yeah, it could, but I think that's mm. something to do with 2012 too. You know what the other thing is? Yeah, what's that, dude. What's that? It'd be crazy if they washed up on Foots Bay up north there right. in Muskoka. Yeah. Right there, Exa- Foots Bay. Foots Bay. So uh, fun. Nice. Uh, exactly. Now, I also... Pre- There's not something called Wiener's Bay, is there? Hope not. Okay. <laughs> now, That's what I should call my bay. Wiener's Bay. <laughs> when we were at the old building, I said that there was going to be um, a shooting at the Eaton Center in the food court. 100% Somebody you with did. a gun. It, ridiculous. I, yep. I, I want to point this out. That's yeah. what it was. Three years yeah. ago, we were sitting in our old studio. Right. And Nikki said, I see a gun in the food court. To the point where we were like... Shot. I said, is it terrorism or gang? Yeah. She said, I don't know, but it's dangerous. I see a gun in the food court big time. And, and she was very honest about it. Yeah, but she didn't say the new food court. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. That's a joke. Let's try to make a joke about stuff, a tough situation. Okay. That, that okay. was... That, as soon as that happened, I called you. Yeah. Dean, I'm telling you. And then there was a flood. Now, the water, now, the, I know it was sewage, Derek. But, I'm with you on this one. Yeah, but you know what? It doesn't matter whether it's sewage or not. The Royal Bank Plaza was flooded completely. Union Station. Was there poop in the Royal Bank? Yeah, yeah. it was. <laughs> That's lucky. It's about time those bankers got pooped on. <laughs> <laughs> They've been grabbing on us for years. <laughs> yeah. And then the harbor front center tunnel was closed. Yeah. And then What's the, the harbor sub- front center? Harbor front. Okay. Not harbor front. <laughs> and then the subway at Young and Dundas was closed. And so. <laughs> you did say... <laughs> Young and Dundas? Yeah, it was yeah. closed. You did say uh, you see water up Young Street. I did. And I'm, I'm going to... And front, I'm near going, Union you Station. Did. Yeah. And I did say to Todd and Derek, Derek says that was tsunami end of world related. That's his beef. I kind of I understand where Derek's coming from, but I do agree with Todd that the vagueness of water going up Young Street it's, and for you to nail that is and Union stupid. Station. Yeah, well, yeah. I said it a couple of times. The first time Derek was right, I did say there would be a tsunami, but the second, second time, time you I, had did, nothing I didn't to do say with that. it. Yeah. I just said yeah. there was water. Yeah, do you You're still awesome. see a tsunami, or is that it? Are we done that? Uh, we could have a little tsunami as well. Another one, eh? Yeah, is another such thing one. as a little tsunami. Another one. Yeah. I think yeah. my girlfriend had one of those last night. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always good, Todd. It's better than an actual tsunami. It's <laughs> a geyser. Yeah. That's you ever give those? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little tsunami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Way to go, kid. I think you should be very proud of yourself. It's a good day for it. Yeah. It's a good day for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can, a tsunami video sounds way better than the other on. We can get away yeah. with that one. Yeah, right. yeah. totally. Right. Instead of hmm-ers, is it yeah. tsunami Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there was something else. There's a lot of other things I predicted. Now, what yeah. other things you can say? Well, I don't know. You go. You, you don't, don't know. know. Okay, psychic. now, Prince Prince Philip went to the hospital. You're right. Prince oh, Philip yeah, was yeah. sick. He couldn't even go to his wife's bur- a little uh, little thing. Little, hey, way you to go. Woman, you don't want to get no. here. Right. Yeah. God, you're good. And Mubarak, or Mubarak from Egypt. Yeah. His health is really deteriorating. Mubarak. Mubarak. <laughs> And I said it wouldn't be good for him health. Well, it hasn't been good for him. For Do you know what his first no. name is? Derek. Really? Grabma. Gragma? Grabma. I thought it was his. Nope. Grabma Mubarak. Oh, Gragma. Grabma. 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 Mubarak. Grabma. Gragma. B. Grabma. Oh, Grabma Mubarak. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever. Sing it. Grab mer. Mubarak. Grab mer. My no. Brad. Bad job. <laughs> I know it's it's yeah. not good. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. So anyway, so that those things happened. And also there was an earthquake in British Columbia <laughs> yesterday. <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> those things happened. That just yeah. happened. Yeah. Hey. There was an earthquake in British Columbia yesterday and one yep. in Russia the day before. And a sea monster 
came up on the shirt. That's Carolina. Carolina. That's yeah. the one. Dude, you see that? Thing? It looks yeah. like a That's dinosaur. The one. After. Yeah. yeah, it's a sturgeon. It's one of the biggest yeah. ones I've ever seen. Just wash it. It's like, how long is it? 22 it's feet long, stupid. 30 feet long. It's, and like, like, it's like your wiener. A thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It's close yeah. to the it's size of my wiener. It's there. Yeah. It looks like a dinosaur, Call my actually. thing the pant sturgeon. Right. That's only the beginning. <laughs> now, there was also the You want to see it? the caveat. It creates a tsunami. Yeah, I've seen it. Want me to show it to you? I've seen it on the internet. A big, And he had a big tail like a dinosaur. He did. It was bizarre. Yeah. And the reason yeah. why they thought it was weird is because he's not the same color as most sturgeon, yeah, so they different. think it's a bizarre little creature, yeah. I think it's fish with teeth, too. Yeah, I think it was In something. BC. Yeah. yeah. Those fish killer, with teeth, dude. Killer fish. Yeah, they have teeth. Yeah, and also, also, off the coast Settle of... Settle down. Off the coast Scared of Australia you. was the world's largest big... Guess what? Bigfoot. Penis. No. Balls. No. Fish. Anus. You know, the one with the testicles. <laughs> oh, octopus? Octopus. Like what are they the called? Tentacles. Tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> there was one off the coast of Australia. <laughs> yeah. Tentacles, yeah. right? I know. <laughs> Huge octopus with testicles. God, I yeah, love you. right, right. <laughs> off the coast of Australia. So this is just the beginning. Yeah. You know? So it's kind of scary, but I don't want to scare you. They're not scaring me. What Keep is, going. What is, oh, forget it. What? No, what? Ask no I was going to say, what does that have to do with the end of the world, though? Is because it, it's, I told you. It's, you know, it's, I'll tell you what it's like. Yeah. And I actually read this this weekend, and I'm not even crapping people. So this, the, yeah, what sure, it's like sure, is... Buddy. It, sure, buddy. Uh, <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah, okay, okay, you're about to okay, say. Dick Hammer. <laughs> no, uh, this is what it's like. You know when rats leave the ship? Okay, I got you. Yeah, this yeah. is it's like the rats are leaving the ship. All yeah, the things okay. are coming up from places cuz the world's getting all goofy and they right. and the the vibrations are off and that you're you're having these giant weird things wash up on shore and you're having uh, birds crashing into like uh, yeah, you know the, monuments. A little right. bird, a little bird flew into the window here, a little yeah, birdie. Yeah. It was crazy. He flew yeah. into the window, uh, right, right, the window. In, right at I, us I know. And, then he, and he was on the ground. He, he was stunned, dead. effed up. Came see? back to life. He took flew off. away. Uh, oh. He was dead. I see. It was he, he was saw. attacking. I gave him mouth to beak. <laughs> <laughs> he was attacking. He gave him bum to beak. <laughs> he was attacking. That's why. Oh, one thing I did predict was a man being eaten in in Florida. I think you played the. Team. We we talked. Yeah, that was about that one last week. Three yeah, weeks ago? but there's yeah, going to be more to, of those. We talked about. There was one uh, yesterday in Louisiana. Yeah, another one. Now so. you said that last week too. There'd be more. Yeah. Now there's going to be a swarm of frogs attacking people. Oh, swarm locusts! They call the swarm locusts. Actually, frogs, bullfrogs. Yeah. Yeah, and it's going to be pretty scary. We could even <clears throat> have frogs in here. Mm. And I do see uh, a disease around flamingos. Mm-hmm. In Florida. No one, listen, I'm going to tell you this right no. now. Yeah. We need to stick to the ones people care about. No one cares about flamingos. Pink eye. Okay, then a you swarm get like a of ants. And put real ones on your lawn. Yeah. Yeah. I see a swarm of ants <laughs> killing a man. On your birthday. I see a swarm of ants <clears throat> killing a man. That'd be cool. Yeah, and awesome. he's got ants all over his face. They're eating him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's horrible. Oh. Yeah. And I <laughs> see a balcony pain. collapsing with people on it. Either Uh-oh. a balcony or a terrace. I love watching those videos. <clears throat> You know, where, where, where like something collapses and everybody really? falls down? Hey, I don't know Morbid why. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty scary. I love those. No, like, like that lady, that, uh, the grape stomping lady. That's the best video of all time. Dude, I, I just like watch people fall over I, and not get hurt. But like whenever, you know, they're all partying and having a great time. Oh, and yeah. Just, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They came out of the blue. <laughs> Man, that was, look at this. You see the look in their faces when that balcony right. collapsed yeah. on the fourth floor. Now, I see a plane and a helicopter colliding over L.A. Yeah. That's not good. And two ambulances colliding, too. Oh, no. Yeah. And there's going to be wild, a lot of wildfires in Africa. And I see a big bombing in Beirut, Lebanon. Also, a, a theater, like, you know when you go to the movie theater? Well, you, you know, Derek. I, think I, think so. I don't think so. these two would Hang know. But yeah. Yeah. You got the grapes stomping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, how could this not be funny? <laughs> Lady stomping grapes falls four feet down and can't catch her breath. This is the funniest thing. It's on live TV. She's doing a grape stomping festival for the morning news. Vineyard tours, seminars, arts and crafts. It's a lot of fun. A whole Did day. It. Stop. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ow, 
they loot. <laughs> She's actually hurt. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is Stop. the Dean Blundell Show. Oh, oh. Dean. She took a hard fall off there. Blundell. I can't breathe. Oh, oh, oh dear. Wow. Gosh, I hope she's okay. 102.1. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. The Edge. What do you say? What do you say? What do you, what do you say? say? Shake a Nicky's hair, you see? Oh, oh. Look at the old bird. Oh. <laughs> That's you, WC, is How it? are you? How are you, beautiful? I'm great. You look great. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. Can we do some phone calls, or do you want to bang a few predictions real quick? I'll bang a few predictions. Okay. Okay. I didn't mean it like that. I'm I just mean, saying. Do you want to do some predictions? Whatever you want. You're the boss. Well, we, let's let's ripple through a couple okay. real quick, and then we'll I, get to I the I see phones. Lady Gaga's going to suffer a nasty fall. Sweet. And oh, I, speaking and I of love, which. Yeah. Yeah, I talked about I love watching people fall down. <laughs> right. Someone sent me this video, and I, I believe I have seen it before. This is, uh, what's the girl's name? Scarlet. Scarlet. Scarlet falls down. She's oh. dancing on a table. I want you to come and watch it with me. I, w- I saw it here. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, so here, here this is her right. on a table. Right. Right. Stand on a table. You Big fat girl. All right now, me and you are through. Filming herself. It's coming. Oh. Oh. Poor girl. (laughs) It's funny because she's fat. (laughs) I don't think she's going to get a Grammy Award. (laughs) Ow. 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 Anyway, that was hysterical. Okay, so Lady Gaga's going to fall on stage. I, That's awesome. I, listen, I know how it feels because I fell off the chair. Yeah, that was also a beauty. Did yeah. you get bruised? I had a huge bruise on the left side of my leg. Oh, Dean. did you? You were very strong and very cool I about am. that. I, You're I, tough. Yeah, I'm tough. You what know? else you got in there? I fell off a chair. Oh, I fell off a chair. <laughs> now, also, the Stanley Cup is going to be stolen. Oh, that's not Ooh, good. Oh, that's new. Yeah, the so Kings, like they're finished in the eighth <laughs> seed. That's a, man, it's a steal already. Maybe the Leafs will steal it because they haven't won for so long. Sure, buddy. (laughs) Yeah. But anyway, I see that. Now, you know how there's pigeons in Trafalgar Square? Yeah. No, I know they're on, like, they go on your shoulder, you know, you feed them. But I've seen an attack of pigeons in Trafalgar Square. Like, hundreds of them attacking people. Attacking people. Yeah. It's not enough they crap on us and eat KFC. They got to attack us. Don't make fun of some people's friends, Dean. (laughs) Now, I, I see some toilets overflowing at the White House. I see a flood at the White House. All righty. And I see a 200-foot python, 30 feet thick, will be found in South America, like huge. A 30-foot thick python? That's 200 feet. Yeah. Whoa. Like, it's huge. This is six inches, right? Right. This is 200 That's feet. Big. Gotcha. Right. And I also see now everybody's going to have laser eyes in the future. Oh, wow. this okay, you is can where put, we're getting weird. All right, but it's true. Like you can put these things into your eyes, and they'll yeah. be laser like telescopes. They'll come oh. out. And I also see a houseboat getting stuck in the Trent Canal system awesome. up near Peterborough. It's going to get stuck between the canal. Mm. And I do see an arsonist on a cruise ship setting fires to cruise ships. That's ships. awesome. That is not good. It's not good. And I I do see uh, David Hasselhoff in trouble. Oh, we were just playing a video of him. That's so crazy. Do you have it? Yeah, man. I put it on my blog today. David Hasselhoff eating a hamburger could be one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. If you haven't, Google it. He is so wasted, and his daughter's filming it because she wants him to get some help. People can say it's sad because he's got an an alcohol problem, whatever. But this guy is so wasted. He he turns eating a burger into a circus. Uh, Do you have it here? Yeah, I have it right here. It's on my blog, too. Okay. Don't get alcohol because you see what it's doing to you? You're on the floor. <laughs> She's eating this burger. <laughs> She's trying to keep it together. You know, I have never been that wasted. Oh I have. God. Mess. <laughs> what? He can't eat. This is a mess. 
is in. He can't eat it. Pro- oh, it's. F- oh. oh my god. <laughs> he can't oh. eat it. It's hanging out of his nose. Oh, just going for the oh. burger. Oh, he's just eating the meat now. He's on the Atkins. And his daughter's giving him a Kleenex. Can't even. Just waste it. Anyway, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it yeah. Go, it's on Todd's blog. Check it out. It's funny. It's yeah. 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 Is probably it more did that? it to show him how he looks when he's drunk. Probably, right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I like him. I liked him from Baywatch right days. Yeah, cool. Kensington Market, there's going to be um, a fire there. Mm. Yeah. And I do see, now I see an albino, or albino, is it? Yeah. Albino? Whatever. An albino llama chasing people. That's not good. Okay. And I see a big explosion in Turkey. Mm. A spitting albino. Yeah. And another one. There's going to be a fire on a movie set. <laughs> what was that in Turkey? A big explosion okay. in Turkey, in Istanbul. And I'm getting um, a hijacking of a plane, too. Yeah. I see that being you might hijacked. I lead with that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah? The, the albino ostrich or whatever is yeah. not inconsequential. Like, I, yeah. I like the big ones. Yeah, the hijacking of the plane. That's a good one. There's going to be a couple of planes being blown up, too. Oh, oh wow. Well, well, with why, that are one, we doing, why are we doing pink sea creatures? All right, because there are sea creatures out yeah. there. Oh. Let's lead with Lady Gaga is going to fall off the stage. And but, laser oh. eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, so uh, planes are going to be blown up? Like yeah, there's a like lot terrible. of plane crashes coming up. And I said there would be one near Milton. A commercial, a commercial plane airliner. Plane. Yeah. Air France? D- d- I'm not sure what airliner it We've is. We already dumped one into the ditch there a few years ago. Do you remember that? Yeah. Well, they did do. actually did. Yeah. yeah. All right. But uh, can we it's take some scary. Calls? Yeah, right. for sure. At the edge. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Uh, good. How are you? Not bad. Call us like Nikki. Yeah. Hey, how's it going today? It's going good. How are you? Call- That's bad. Thank you. I was just uh, calling to see about my future. What's going on with that? Well, can you ask me one question? Yeah. That's a bit generic. How's right, my future? Well, well, I, we can't leave these people not. alone with her. They, 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 it'll just go bad. Specific question. What are you looking for? Uh, I was looking at getting into porn. I was seeing how that's going to go. <clears throat> Do you have a big hammer? Uh, it's not massive. It's all right. Give me some please. Uh, how old are you? 26. Why do you want to get into porn? Just to get some interesting people. Dude, that's not why you want to get into porn. Every guy wants to get into porn because he thinks he can. He's a porn star. But I guarantee you, by the time you get to the the casting couch where they tell you to do some stuff and then uh, do it, yeah, you won't be able to. That your name's going to be Ladybug. Ladybug. That's what oh, I'm he getting. is going to get yeah. into porn. Yeah, I see, see his name. In, What's what that? Is that? That's my daughter's nickname. That's kind of funny. Come on, are Dude, you this serious? Is pretty good. That's, you're you're I'm, unbelievable. I'm like very psychic today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're married. Uh, no, I'm actually uh, recently divorced. And you want to get into porn. Do yes, yourself a favor. So. Save your daughter the embarrassment and go get a job at Walmart. I already have a good construction job. Well, so. then stay there. Don't get into porn. No, I dude. see him being a porn star called Ladybug. Oh, well, you weird. never know. So. Gay porn star? Oh, no. No, yeah. straight. Yeah. yeah, sure, but Well, there could be a little key. gayness there, but I think it's straight. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's straight. <laughs> dude, you're going to be a little bit gay for money. How does that make yeah. you feel? Yeah, I don't love that one. But yeah. Do you have okay. a jackhammer? Okay, ladybug. Actually, my nickname's going to be uh, Jackhammer. Jackhammer. So. Oh my god, I picked that up too. <laughs> wow. Were you being serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. That's my nickname. Did so you hear that, dude? No, she, you missed that. I said, do you she have a jackhammer? She just said you can be a jackhammer. He's like, that's my nickname. I got well, ladybug the, the and jackhammer. jackhammer. Right. That's weird. And what is your sign? Uh, I'm an Aries. Oh, you're an Aries. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. You don't think it's weird a little bit? But I, I think I definitely Dude, see you doing... getting into porn. The guy used the word jackhammer. Maybe it's a little coincidental. Maybe it's really good. I'm not putting too much that's stock into it. That's his nickname, jackhammer. Same. I know. And you got ladybug? I got ladybug. All right. Anyway, anyway, good luck to you in the porn industry and he, the construction is industry. Gonna, is he going to get a terrible STD? Tell him, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, can he get crabs? It's going to hurt. Yeah, I have to edge. go to the doctor soon. Hello. <laughs> Hi, The Edge. Hi, I have a question for Psychic Nikki. Sure, can you turn your radio off? Sure. Thanks. What's your question? I just wanted to know about um, my marriage this year. Your marriage this year is going to end this year. (laughs) What's her deal? I don't know. I see hey, something. Not ending. enough of this, eh? Right, right. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gonna, she's you should have. Get Jack get, you should have let him get this. Right, right. We're supposed, we're supposed to be going to Punta Cana 
Well, <laughs> you, may go to, you may go to Putacana, but this thing is going to end. <laughs> I love it. I love the new approach. Putacana. Just give it to people. Tell them the yeah. honest yeah. to God I'm truth. I'm telling them the truth. I told that other guy's ladybug. <laughs> why, why, why are you asking? Are you guys in trouble? No, no. I just wanted to make sure that I'm making the right choice. <laughs> are you married? No, not yet. You're thinking of getting married? Yeah, in October. Oh, and it's not, these guys aren't getting married? I don't know. I just feel, I, look, I hate to tell you this before you're getting married. What is your sign? You know, if you're calling up Nikki, Gemini. it's usually yeah. a good sign. Oh, you're, you're not making the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Gemini yeah. is really good, though. You are in yeah. a good, good way, man. It's going to be the best year of your life. After but it doesn't mean you're going to be with that dude. And what about his sign? What is his sign? Leo. Oh, Leo. Leo's pretty yeah. good, but Gemini's even better. Because is he going to cheat on her? He could. Yep. Has he cheated on her already? <laughs> he could. Yep. With a dark haired. You gonna know a dark haired girl? Could be. Oh, she cheated bad. on, and she's getting married to him, and she and he's cheating. Well, on she her? could be married more than once. <laughs> right? He's already cheating on you. You can get married to somebody, and me and she thinks that. Are you I think crying? She thinks it. Are you crying? No. no. Are you, you think are you, it? Yeah. Pardon? Do you, do you, are you are you a little skeptical right now that maybe your boyfriend's a cheating? little bit? Yeah. <laughs> do you, do you have I some, had my suspicions. I would just wasn't. Oh, you had your suspicions yeah, already. What are they? Yeah. yeah, I should be a psychic. Yeah, yeah. What are they? Your um, suspicions. What like, is he doing? Uh, just like his ex girlfriend and stuff. I just I found a couple emails when we first started dating that he was still talking to her. And What's talking to her? Like saying, "Hey, baby, can't wait come to come over." Um, <laughs> no, no, just like, "How are you doing? Miss you?" Like that kind of stuff. Does he have a password on his phone? Yes, he does. Do you know it? Yes. Oh. Breaking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever break guy code there. Oh, okay. why? Okay. Okay. Guy code? I got a password on my phone. Shut I don't. Up. I don't even have one on it. Anymore. I know. Just shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. You know what? You're still going to be happy. This is still going to be a great year for you. Yeah, you're going to. She's going to go to Punta Cana and get yeah, it, and then yeah. exactly. you're probably going to break up, and she's going to end up with somebody else. Yeah. Who do you see her with? I see like a hunk. Ooh. You know, with a tattoo. I can see him, and he's got like short cropped hair. He looks gorgeous. Ooh. And kind are of you big good muscles. Are Pardon? you good looking? Um, I guess so. <laughs> no, no. You're, what are you? Are you about five, six? I don't know. Out of ten. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably five. <laughs> yeah, and the new six. guy has a tattoo, <laughs> but he's got big muscles and he has no shirt on, so he no, must we'll work outside. So yeah, he must right. work outside. <clears throat> what is cool. that? Yeah, you're a like big a, guy. Like a five, six, are you? Uh, like an eight. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. yeah. So dolly that back three. How's the ass? Five. How's the ass? Oh, that's how's, mean. How's the ass sweetness? How's the butt? Good. Yeah. Four. How are the boobs? A four. Um, good. Yeah. Good. Oh. The boobs may Six. hang a little bit later, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know from experience. Yeah. There's a psychic awesome. prediction. <laughs> yeah. She's predicting it out of experience. <laughs> right. Uh, high the edge. Oh, hi. Hey, who's this? Yeah, uh, it's Karen. Karen, what's your question for Nikki? Oh, uh, I'm just the same as this girl. If I, if I'm gonna, how long I'm going to stay with my husband? Oh, come on. Let's get that. My family's my god through. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I can't even hear her. No. Sorry. I can't hear her. <laughs> hi, The Edge. Hi. Hi, who's this? Kate. Hey, Kate, how are you? Good, how are you? Good question. Oh, yeah, this Kate, ghost in her house. You got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And she was going to call back and tell yeah. Nikki about what's going on. So and what's she happened? she did. Yeah. Okay. So, Nikki? <laughs> yes, Okay, hold Kate. it. Let's take a break. We're going to take All a right. break. And can you stay on hold, Kate? Okay. Kate, Kate, Kate had her dad showing up smoking cigars at the end of her yeah. bed. Oh, yeah. Remember Creeper I said that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have a camera her handy. Yeah, her and dad was watching her sleep. And it happened again? I think I saw him again. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Hang on. And my son. Oh, and your oh. son saw him. Well, I heard him over the mo- baby monitor talking to him. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, see, I told you last week. Yeah. yeah. I woke up to go get me a cold pop. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, this is... The Dean Blundell Show. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. Dean Blundell Show. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Someone emailed me and said, do you have a problem ruining people's marriages and lives when Psychic Nikki tells someone that their spouse is going to cheat on them? Or has already? (laughs) Uh, Nope. It's not ruining lives. I have an issue with it. Yeah, they're they're asking us. calling. You wrecked their life. Now, uh, what would be funny is a psychic, um, a telemarketer 
Where they just call you're you up. You're going to purchase <laughs> new windows. <laughs> and your wife's Dude. cheating on you. <laughs> now that would be mean. That's yeah. right. Two pieces of bad news. Yeah. yeah, it's not ruining people's life. It's just being straightforward honest. and honest. I prefer, right. can I, and can I say, I yeah. prefer you to just hit people between the eyes with it as opposed to pussyfooting around. Right, right. So like keep the, doing that. Do I never tell people tele- what they want to hear. Do the psychic teller, teller uh, marketer, though. That'd be awesome. But, but she was already. She, <laughs> You're going to get your chimney clean and genital warts. Yeah. <laughs> And, and you're going to have an affair with a chimney sweep. <laughs> oh, Todd Ooh. just said that. Hi, The Edge. Hi, can I talk to Psychic Nikki? Sir? Yeah, yeah, hang on a second. I answered the wrong one. Sorry. Kate, you there? Yeah. Okay, sorry. That's okay. Go ahead. Okay, so the one night, so she was right. Uh, I think he came back. Let's recap. <clears throat> okay, you recap, keep seeing a dark figure in front uh-huh. of your bed. Your mom yeah. pointed, or your mom, uh, your uh, psychic <laughs> Nikki pointed out <laughs> that, uh, sorry, it, 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 uh, was it was your dad who smoked a cigar and it was a yeah. crazy thing. And then she said, keep an eye out for it. And what happened two weeks ago? And then uh, one night I heard my son talking in his room when he was supposed to be sleeping over the baby monitor. I went in. He was sitting up in his bed. I said, what are you doing? He said, nothing. And he was smiling. I said, I heard you talking. Who are you talking to? And he said, Papa. And so it freaked me out. The next day I get home from work. I go upstairs to change. And as I'm walking up the stairs, I see a shadow figure on the wall. And it kind of darted down the hall. So I get up to the top of the stairs, I look down the hall, and the shadow is on the door of my bedroom, went in my bedroom, went in my bedroom, and it was gone. So I don't know if that shadow, it was totally a, the shadow of a person, and there was nobody up there, it was just darting out of my sight, I don't know if that was him. That was him. Okay. Yeah. And honestly, um, you know, you're going to see him again. Again? For sure, yeah, and it's good that he's around you. He's protecting you. Okay, but from what? And just f- everyday life. Okay. But yeah, now, now but I mean, it is your father there, and, and okay. you shouldn't be scared. You're going to see him again. Now, I did tell you to take a digital camera and take a picture. Yeah, but it was the time and all that, and I didn't have it. But Can you use my... your cell phone as a, as a digital camera yeah, as you in could, lieu of? You, you uh, no, Todd, cell phone. no. Because, yeah, I was just wondering, does anyone <laughs> buy <laughs> digital cameras anymore? <laughs> no. has to be a Minolta. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Are you allowed to use your cell phone? It's no, the worst question you've asked. Well, you could use a cell phone picture. Apologize. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. I thought it was extremely legitimate. No, Who buys digital cameras these days? That's I have friends question. that do. Yeah. <laughs> but it was so quick. There's no way I could have whipped out my phone and taken a picture. But now my mom is getting upset. She's like, well, why is he not coming to see me? Oh, okay, now you should take a he picture anyway. You. <laughs> you should say yeah. that. You should say, well, hey, mom, mom, I was talking to him the other night. Yeah. He, he doesn't like you. Oh, <laughs> he was yeah, talking crap like about you to the kid. Yeah. <laughs> now you know yeah, maybe be nice to grandma. Maybe that's what happened in the room with the kid and your kid was talking to the, the grandpa. Maybe the grandpa was like, hey, listen, your grandma was a real bitch. I just, <laughs> I'm just putting it out there, okay? What a cheap know what Papa says. Oh, no way. But you may smell cigar smoke, too, Okay. at one point. Okay. And also, you should take a picture, even if you don't see the figure, uh-huh. with, with the camera, your cell phone, or whatever. Should she do it right after she gets out of the shower? She can do it any time. Okay. At night. And send it to uh, us. Yeah. When yeah, did yeah, you yeah. see the, what time of the day did you see the shadow? Yeah. It was about 4 o'clock. Okay, so you take a camera, you just take a picture of the room at 4 o'clock or throughout yeah, the day. Yeah, what I think you should probably do is yeah. just right when you step out of the shower, uh, take There's a, a picture mirror. in the mirror mm-hmm. of what you think you mm-hmm. see and then just fire it on over. Yeah, there. yeah. yeah. zoom well. in on your middle section. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess the, ghost any orbs. Be, the ghost will probably be right around your boobs. <laughs> Will he go to see my mom? <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, he, he, no, may, he may, he may now. Okay. Yeah, now probably by the end of the year. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and, but she's got a like some people like your your son, for instance, can pick up on that. Okay. So you know, children can. Yeah. They're very honest, and you know, your mom might not be feeling him. Okay. You know what I mean? So she's got to really concentrate, and then it'll come. Wow. But he's definitely honestly. That's pretty standard, isn't it? Got to concentrate, and then you'll. Well, <laughs> if her mother, if your mother comes to her your place, she may. <laughs> See him All right. too. There you go. But I'm definitely getting it as your father. I did last You're week. Getting too. it as a. So I uh, got an email here real quick. Um, Dean, my wife mm. cheated on me with my neighbor. Oh, oh man, that's not good. Uh, the neighbor of all people. I was wondering if Nikki sees me staying with my wife as well. We have a two-year-old daughter, Mike. Get out of there, bro! Are you kidding me? You need Nikki to tell you to leave. <laughs> well, I do see one thing. 
what? They they may stay together, but they're going to move. Together. Together, but they're going to move. They're moving from that location to another place. Well, yeah, because the neighbor keeps trying to screw his wife. Exactly. And I think that their marriage will be better after that. You Imagine think they're going to stay together? Yeah. I think that. it's just that person trying to hook her no, back in. Or hook her it. in. You're like you're having a dispute with your neighbor about like shoveling the snow or like one's like... Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. your wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dean Blundell Show, 102.1, The Edge.